Hello, this is post number four, just a quick update. It seems as though I've got rid of that nasty, nasty program, Antivirus XP 2010. I had to run SpyBot. That allowed me to regain some control of my computer, i.e. it allowed me to run Malwarebytes. I ran Malwarebytes and that came up with problems left, right and center. I allowed it to just get on with doing its thing. It then asked me to restart my computer which I did and Bob your uncle, Vanny's your aunt I seem to have no little nasty program back on my computer it's not there down in the old taskbar um, I go to uh, settings control panel and I go to windows firewall and I've got my Windows firewall. As you can see, that's completely different to the other window that I that opened the last time I clicked on Windows firewall. It didn't happen straight away, by the way. Um, Windows asked me. Windows said Windows firewall wasn't there, and it had to start a process. It then started that process. I think it said it was ICS or something like that. Do you want to start this process? I said yes, and then my Windows firewall came back. So I've got the Windows firewall back and if we go to the security center um, everything's green again and down here last time I clicked on security center with that antivirus 2010 these things were all different and uh, well they seem to be all normal again and the antivirus 2010 had exactly the same symbol as a genuine Microsoft Security Center. So that's how difficult it is, or that's how crafty it is, should I say. That's how crafty it is. That's how it's trying to get underneath your radar and think it's a genuine program. It was a nasty program written by nasty, desperate people with no ambition or hope. They have absolutely no idea what they're doing with their lives, so they decide to destroy other people's. So, everything seems to be okay. I'm going to still check out or I'm still going to do the instructions um, from the website that I've lifted on the right of this video and just go through everything and make sure all my registry keys and all the program has been completely removed. So I hope this helped someone and all the best. Goodbye.